We're all gonna die. Folks, all Saturday gonna night, die. welcome aboard. It's Calamity A side. Thanks for joining us. If you've been here before, welcome back. If this is your first time, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about DD, go ahead and join our Discord. If you want cool stuff like a phone case or this cool sweatshirt or t-shirt or duvet cover, I don't know personalized toilet roll whatever we saw that crap too uh the link is down there most importantly if you want to be on the talk show on tuesdays or on the one shot uh probably uh next saturday not sure about that hit us up m hobo inc twitter or gmail and we will try and get you on there now if you're dice suck and you are in the market for some new ones uh might we suggest pirate dog dice at pirate dog dice on twitter they make custom dice that do not suck, including old Big Red here. Uh, so if you're in the market, hit them up, see if they have time to make some. Also, if your game stinks, unlike ours, ours always smells like success, uh, try some Adventure Sense by oddfishgames.com, uh, creators of the hit Kickstarter. How to RPG with your cat. Well over 300% funded. It is now closed. Uh, so look for that in a few months if you didn't get in on that. They also make the Shine system. So if you want to write gooder than me, check out their Shine system for a little help. Like I said, this is Calamity A. Uh, these guys uh, are in a mess. That's about as much as I can say at this point in time. We'll go ahead and recap it here in just a second. First, let's introduce you to the people who are going to make you Laugh, cry, groan, and shake your head. Uh, first one up is Rob. Who are you? Who are you playing? Hi, I'm Rob, and you can find me at Cthulhu Rob, and you can find me here on Murder Hobo on every other Saturday playing Dave or, you know, maybe Brother Cup or something else. Uh, <clears throat> that's about it. Big intro. <laughs> David, you're oh. up next. Hi, <laughs> I'm David. Uh, yeah, hi, I'm Dave. I play Ingve uh, in this campaign, and I also play uh, Crow in our Calamity B side campaign. Uh, you can also find me on our Cacophony show. Uh, I play Zadar in that, and then also, uh, yeah, I make a lot of appearances on BTR between the roles. So, you, uh, Nine out of ten times you can catch me out on that. So uh, other than that, uh, you can, if you want to follow me on, on Twitter, uh, it's D and Devious. And uh, yeah, it's just like, uh, it's just nonsense that I tweet anyway. So D and D nonsense. So anyway, that's me. Nice. Jesse, same question, different answers. Uh, hi, I'm Jesse. I play the uh, Leon and Ranger Azari uh, every other Saturday here on the uh, Calamity. Otherwise, you can find me as uh, the Australian uh, Bradley Coda uh, on B side. And um, yeah, occasionally I pop in on other stuff when I get the free time. I like D&D. That's it. <laughs> Last but certainly not oh. least. Go ahead. Sorry, you can find me on the uh, uh, social media pages at JR uh pretty much everywhere. Even nice. in New York. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> even in New York. Last but not least, Scott. Scott, who are you? Who are you playing tonight? Yeah, hi, um, everyone. My name is Scott. Um, I play uh, Rakir, a uh, lawful good monk uh, who is what? <laughs> what? <laughs> who is all about justice and uh, fair play. Oh, <laughs> oh wow! Uh, hi, Scott. First time here. Glad to have. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that wasn't justice. That was just us. The two words. Right. That was, yeah, no. just us. us. As in really, just me. Oh, that and that I, explains yeah. it. Because yeah. my question it, was, who are you and where's Scott? Yeah. <laughs> no, Isn't I, this I also, your family? <laughs> yes, yes, this is my family, and I, um, I, I, um, I've been playing with uh, for a while, but I have been somewhat absent on the, uh, you know, between the roles. Uh, work has been very, very hard. Um, I haven't had a chance to play as much, so I'm really looking forward tonight to being able to play with you guys and helping to dig 
dig our little uh, family out of the hole that um, that um, Ingve put us in. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's it. <laughs> well, it's, it's been about a month, uh, in case you're new or in case you've forgotten. Uh, these guys have uh, had quite the journey. Uh, their townsfolk and friends, neighbors, countrymen were kidnapped. Most of them were brought back. Some suffered 11 minutes of torturous demise. Uh, but when these guys got back to home, they found it completely different. Uh, their longtime leader, Gizba, had succumbed to illness and injury. And their somewhat, I'll call her a tormentor, Lokai and her lover, Doff, most hated by the party, uh, were now in control of the city uh, built in the side of a mountain. These guys have figured out in real life that this is post-apocalyptic somehow. And uh, Jesse, uh, a.k.a. Azari, went over the wall <laughs> last time uh, to discover some kind of mutated dwarves on large lizard creatures. Uh, a couple miles away, these things have been harassing the town of Ba. It is now a fortified, contained area. The other three wound up going over the wall in the front, uh, along with Doff and other associates when they got in trouble after viewing a meteor. Rakir, I believe, is the one who murdered Doff <laughs> with the assistance of Ingve and Dave. Uh, we rejoin these yeah. guys as Peck Peck, suitably scarred up from his third near-death experience at the hands of Fucking Dave uh, is has written the party off. Screw him. Uh, Azari tried to get him to go back to town, uh, and he was rude, pretty much. Uh, these guys know from Azari spotting them that something is headed this way. They also know that one member of this group they fought uh, of some kind of mutated dwarf called Whoppers. Uh, has escaped. So last we knew, Azari and Dave were going to try and get a pincer attack on the upcoming troops while Ingve and Rakir went to Ba and warned everybody so that they could crush thine enemies. We rejoined the group with the simple question, Ingve, Rakir, what you gonna do? <laughs> oh, also it's very cloudy, it's very dark, and it's just after midnight. So these guys are fucked. And uh, Inve <clears throat> is just standing there, just kind of in shock, you know, over Dov's dead body. It's just like, well, I can't fix that. <laughs> so <laughs> not after Dave curb stomped him. <laughs> it's just like, here, what are you doing? It's just like just murdered a guy <laughs> there was no whoa, we involved whoa, whoa, whoa. this was this was me i did what had to be done this I was didn't inevitable stop this you. was inevitable we know cells can be heard coming from ba <laughs> and torches are being lit illuminating it in the dark sky <laughs> we can have this discussion later we have to prepare yeah, yeah. we yeah. have to prepare well, I can make this body temporarily go away. I mean, it's. I don't see how that helps us. We need to prepare. Let's okay. let's get into a position to fight or get the F out and yeah. go and go help our friends. Where where do you think Azari is? That's what that, that's what I want to know. Where, where do we think Azari and Dave are? You know, Azari and Dave went that away. I think we and, just... and town is that away. I think we need to head towards uh, Zari and Dave because I can hear the town on our heel heels now. So, I think we need to go to Zari and Dave as well. Let's head that direction. Yeah. Uh, um, as Rakir and Ingve, as you wander by Peck Peck and his associates still cradling him like the Madonna, Peck Peck. <laughs> 
He's had enough of you fuckers. <laughs> he is just going to sit there and try and heal because even though Ingve has healed him, he's just heavily scarred. This guy looks like he was I tossed think, into a bag of cats. I think <laughs> next time he's going to go crawling out of the, out of the, the ring of healing. <laughs> just going to be like, let me let's, go. <laughs> let sweet death take me. Uh, Dave say, and Azari. My bad. You know, our bad. So sorry. That's our on bad. me. That's on me. I <laughs> accept me. that. Sorry. On me. Well, I, I say this all day, but yeah, still, you know, right there. You're right here. <laughs> uh, sorry, Dave. You have, you have headed off uh, what you assume to be the trail that Azari has taken. Uh, in the darkness, uh, even with your dark vision, you can kind of see cloudy shapes headed this way that look very large. Azari, when you did your recon, you know that these weirdo dwarves had, uh, I don't know, animal vehicles, uh, animal mm -hmm. conveyances, something like that, and they were large. But first, uh, Dave and Azari, you two need to make an investigation check. Ah, investigation. Uh, yeah, higher level skills. Oh, that's not bad. Oh. 15. See, 18 minus 2, 16. Uh, as you guys stealthily creep towards this threat, Stealth looming, well, you're trying. I, mean, I, I don't assume that you're banging on pots. Uh, you hear some rustling in the high grasses. Uh, folks at home, remember... Ba is inside a mountain, essentially. It's a honeycombed mountain uh, out past that high grasslands, as these guys discovered in their first foray here. Uh, so you hear something, someone or something moving around in the high grasses off to your left in between you and the approaching shadows. Well, something approaches. <laughs> uh, Ingve uh, and Rakir, you are not here yet. Oh, okay. Got it. It's all you, Azari and Dave. Uh, I'll make a, I'll kind of make motions to Dave for us to kind of encircle the, and then circle around. So we're going to kind of, Flank it from both sides. Flank the noise? Yes. Fair enough. Uh, give me survival checks, both of you. Ooh. I got a survival. 16. <clears throat> oh, natural 20. Plus 5. 25. Oh, Azari, you spot a somewhat large, somewhat misshapen form on the ground. Uh, Dave, uh, a couple seconds later, maybe Azari motions to you. You also pick up on it, or Azari does one of these, uh, and you guys begin to converge. It appears to be a large misshapen dwarf, but in the darkness, you really can't tell any other features. Uh, you can tell from the uh, raspy breathing that this individual doesn't have long to live. Okay. Um... I will walk up, uh, I'll pull out like a little like white handkerchief or something out of my pack and kind of like show it to it. Like not, no weapons, I'll keep my weapons stowed. And then I'm just gonna show it to it so it knows we're not trying to kill it. And then uh, I'm going to, I will cast a first level cure wounds on it to keep it from dying. Dave will stand behind Azari with his ax in his hand. Nice. You're just uh, the, my job harder. The healing spirits <laughs> flow through you into this creature. Uh, a few moments later, Ingve and Rakir, you guys were headed to find Azari. Uh, you see two dark figures kind of looking down, and you see the blue magic of healing uh, pour forth from Azari's hands. Uh, you cannot see what they are healing. You assume it's a small bloodhound puppy that's hurt itself. <laughs> Uh, 
Yeah. So uh, Ingbe appro- approaches, recognizing the healing light. You know, he can see that in the darkness, so he knows that's probably Azari. So we'll head that way. You hope. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you guys gather up, and uh, the heavy outline of Dave's uh, squish axe uh, can be seen clearly. All four of you hear a booming voice through the darkness. Ikwa sa, ikwa sa. Yeah, that sounded booming. <laughs> squish, 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 squish. I don't squish. speak Klingon, so. Zita Bilua. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Like, Zari knows five languages, so I'm trying to think what would be something that he has that might be close. Uh, D12 against me. Okay. Ten. Two. Yeah, you don't know this language. Yeah. Uh, Zari will try um, an undercommon. Uh, and then in deep speech, he'll try and say, so we mean no harm. We mean no harm. He'll try it. He'll do one in undercommon and one in deep speech. See if the other thing recognizes it. Sure. Uh, Dave, give me a perception check. Sure. Um, that's a 23. Uh, you notice that the subject on the grass has got one arm up. Uh, it looks like uh, Mel Gibson in Braveheart. <laughs> At so <what> he's point? <laughs> reaching for a weapon? No. Looks like he's trying to gather strength in his lungs. Yeah. <clears throat> I will uh, put my hand over his mouth. Right. Hit it. <laughs> uh, 18. 18 happens. Let's see if I can bite you. Not with a two. (laughs) Uh, The individual begins to struggle. And Dave, you realize, uh, while I have said dwarf in the past, uh, it is girthy, but almost as tall as you. And you feel lumps, strange uh, lumps on it uh squishy lumps so you know they might just be foreign bodies uh or he might have just eaten a meal uh but you can tell that there's something misshapen about this creature uh in the darkness rakir ingve and azari give me perception checks Don't see shit as Rakir ponders how he can kill this thing <laughs> while Dave holds it. <laughs> uh, 15 for Ingve. One more time. Right. 15 for Ingve for perception. Azari? 24. You all hear the word I bay, I bay, I bay. And then two dark forms begin to move towards you rapidly, and you can hear a thundering of feet as you see this herky-jerky motion of two creatures headed your way. Uh, Azari, these are the mounts that you saw before. Ingve, holy shit, these things are big. Rakir, if I just reach around and (laughs) there. And Dave, you are starting to struggle as this creature is fighting. Uh, Azari, how many hit points did you give him? Uh, Sorry. Um, Oh, wow. Uh, He got nine hit points. That'll hurt. (laughs) Oh, so what do you guys want to do? You got two thundering creatures headed this way. Uh, Dave is busy. Rakir is distracted. Uh, Dave, release him. We need to appear as friendly as possible. Okay. <laughs> and then um, Azari's going to look at the other uh, the the creed, the guy the 
weird dwarf again and try like under common and deep speech is like do you understand me uh now that you lean forward to get a closer look you can tell that his eyes are horribly offset and his mouth is kind of jagged uh it it doesn't look like it's recent damage it looks like a birth defect or some other anomaly uh but the the misshapen head all you're waiting for is for him to say rocky road yeah Yeah. thinking uh toxic Uh, avenger too yes uh he screams out i bay i bay ick 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 and takes off running to the west all right uh the two figures are rapidly approaching Let's go initiative for right now since I got one runner away and two runners forward. Okay. Not bad. 19. Ooh. Ooh, natural 20. 27. Uh, 19 for Ingbe. Fuck. I think that's going to be a dirty 20 for me. Yeah, dirty 20. I thought I had a good roll. Uh, you got one runner away, two runners coming at you. The two Who runners was it coming that was at running you, away. Was the it one the Dave had? One? Oh, okay. As already uh, said, let him go. And creature one and creature two are thundering their way towards you. Are uh, they close enough to where we would provoke an opportunity of attack? Are they within range for that? They're charging right at you. Yeah, I know, but if we ran, would that provoke a opportunity attack? Since it's not, evasion. Not, not an out, not an opportunity attack because they will reach you when it's their turn, but they are not on top of you yet. So if you want to take off, there will be no attack of opportunity. Can I make okay. a ranged attack? You may. <laughs> or you may hold your attack until they get here. Mm, that yeah, that, that, that does put you in the line. Uh, I'll wait. So uh, the 20 and the dirty 20. So Azari and Rakir, what are you doing? Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to um, scoot to the left 15 feet so I'm not like in a direct line uh-huh. of them running. And then if they if they attack um, any of the party, I will hold my action to fire uh, an arrow at him. Sure. Uh, Rock here. What is the terrain that we're in right now? High grassland. High Mostly grassland? Mostly flat, some gopher holes. <clears throat> <sighs> is it high grass? Mm-hmm. Not up to your uh, waistline. Is it dry? Uh, parts of it are, parts of it are not. The water runoff from the mountain has some of it wet. I'll, I, I'm going to close the distance to Azari and uh, Dave and uh, make sure that I'm in between them. If Fair. there's like five feet, I want to be right in there between them. Sure. And say, uh, I got here as fast as I can. <laughs> Who am I killing today? <laughs> <laughs> That gives us to the 19s, Ingve and Dave. Uh, Ingve uh, stands at the ready and uh, has his cantrip. So I'm just going to hold this uh, this action until I see what Azari and Rakir and Dave do. But uh, I'm I'm holding my action to fire produce flame. So. Sure. Well, everybody's holding their dongs, so I'm going to go ahead and attack. I've rolled a three and a four. That means Azari and Rakir are going to be run over by what appear to be giant chickens. <laughs> chickens? Yes. Kenny Rogers would be very proud. Uh, uh, it's uh, they time, get time to lead me. Two attacks each. So, 400, two, first one is going to be a claw and then a piercing. So, Azari the claw. 18 plus 7. That'll do it. The pecking, only a 12. 
So that is not going to do anything. No, that will not do it. Let's uh, grab a couple murder hobos. Oh, I've been let down by the hobos. Uh, three plus five is eight as you are slashed by this giant chicken. It's uh, a chicken. Rock here. The slash is a five plus seven, 12. Nope. Uh, the beak is a 19. Yeah, that was seven. Uh, yeah. Ooh, that's going to be ouchy. Uh, there's the other eight. Uh, that's better. 11 plus five, 16. Peck, peck, peck. Uh, everybody can take this round's reaction attacks. Okay. okay. Time to kill chicken. Time for some fried uh, chicken. Six. 22. 22. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's start with the 20s. <laughs> Let's go natural 20 Azari. <laughs> you guys are all yelling uh, shit out. Like, there's no way. <laughs> okay, that's a natural 20 to hit. Uh, so that is 12 plus 4. Azari's number. chicken is number two. Or I'm sorry, Azari's chicken is number one. Rakir's chicken is number two. So that's uh, 14 points of piercing damage to that chicken. Okay. Rock here. Yeah, so um, I'll have um, the uh, quarter staff attack as my uh, main action, and my bonus action is an unarmed strike. Okay, so my quarter staff is going to be 11 plus five. That's a 16 on the quarter staff. Oh, yeah. Easy to hit. Well, moderately easy to hit. 15 to hit the giant chickens. That's not going to be good. That's just going to be uh, four hit points of bludgeoning damage. I assume to yours? Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, and unarmed? My, my unarmed strike will miss. Uh, Ingve and Dave, you guys both had yeah. teams. Go ahead. Uh, first off, who are you going for? Uh, remember, you got a runner. Uh, you have two giant chickens, one on Azari, one on Rakir. So, Dave, who are you well, going after first? Since Rakir was between me and Azari, I think that puts Rakir's chicken closer to me. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go after that chicken. Uh, 21 to hit. Mm -hmm. And uh, 11 points of slashing damage. And bonus action, I'm going to uh, swing an unarmed strike. Uh, what is that? Uh, 20 to hit. And I'm going to do... Where's my D4? I can't see it. Uh, <laughs> it's going to do eight points of bludgeoning damage, and I'm going to attempt to grapple. Uh, yeah, it, this fucking thing's too large for you to grapple. You can hang on to its leg and let it stomp the shit out of you. <laughs> yeah, I won't do that. If it's okay. too big to grapple, I won't grapple it. Uh, Ingve. Uh, Ingve's going to hurl a moat of flame towards him. Um, mm, that's a 21 chicken. to hit. Towards which one? Uh, Azari's. Okay. Uh, How do you know Azari hit. loves fried chicken? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, that's seven points of flame damage, fire damage. Okay. Uh, as the chicken ignites, everybody can see these things for what they are. They certainly do appear to be like giant chickens, only they've got mange or something and heavy lesions where their feathers are no longer present. Each has some kind of leather strap around its neckline indicating to you that it is probably a mount of some kind. Each one of these chickens has three eyes, two and one in the center. They are horribly misshapen, ah. just like the dwarf. In the distance, you can all hear, uh, I bay, I bay, ick, ick. Uh, and as the flames go up, you guys all get a little bit of flash uh, damage. Uh, so now your eyes have to refocus. Round two, we begin with the natural 20, Azari. Okay, I will attack again. Let's see where is it? Block, 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 block. 
All right, chicken, uh, I'm going to attack with a sharpshooter. That's a 15 to hit. Mm -hmm. 15 is what you need. Yeah. Uh, so it takes another 19 points of piercing damage. Got it. And Rock. that is it. Yeah. Rock here. Holy shit, yeah. it's a giant chicken. Holy shit, it's a, it's a giant, ugly chicken. The terrible, mutated, awful chicken. Um, okay, so it's it'll not... be a, a hit with the quarter staff and then a roundhouse kick on a harm strike. That's going to be a 16 plus. That's a 21 mm -hmm. to hit and a three plus three. That's six hit points of bludgeoning damage with the quarter staff. And then the roundhouse kick. Unarmed strike will be this time that does hit. That's going to be a straight 15. You said 15 to hit, right? Mm -hmm. All right. It's not a lot of damage. It's only 1d4 plus 3. That, that's four of those. So seven hit points bludgeoning damage with the, uh, with the roundhouse kick. Dave, before you go, everybody notices two things. First, the sky fills with Flaming arrows from Ba. Two, an ear shattering boom can be heard somewhere behind the giant chickens, and everybody hears whistling over your head. Uh, for purposes of this, it's going to take a nat 20 to hit one of you guys. Dave? Ingve, Azari, Rakir. Rakir, an arrow lands nearby. <laughs> Everybody else, no change. Uh, Dave, you're up. Uh, one chicken is on fire, casting weird illuminations. Uh, the wings are not two, they are four. Dave, like wings. Mm, these are funky chicken, man. <laughs> uh, they, they look like a bad you know, So wage. Uh, Dave going to rage, and then he going to hit. Going to hit Ingve, Azari, Rakir. The same chicken I hit Go last back and time. hit Peck Peck. <laughs> well, maybe. Where's Peck Peck? Oh. Peck Peck's back about 10 minutes. Wait, let me, let me grab a different die. <clears throat> Whoa, 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 whoa. If you already threw. Yeah. <laughs> there no, no re-rolls here. Hang on a second. Let me uh, see if I hit you. Oh, uh, there's a natural 20. <laughs> oh, there, no, there's I, another I had, natural 20. I hadn't, I hadn't thrown it. I just didn't like the color. Ah. Uh, that's a 16. I don't see hit. color, Dave. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is calamity. Ah. Uh, wow. 16 it's that kind of calamity. <laughs> and, and, so, um, we're going there, are we? All We're right. going there. All right. It's We're early in the there. night. 17 oh, points man. of slashing damage. Uh, and you were going after Rakir's, correct? Yes. Got it. Yeah, that chicken is not looking peachy. Uh, Ingve, you're up. Uh, yeah, Azari's not physically engaged. He's making ranged attack. So Ingve's going to make another ranged attack with another mode of flame mm -hmm. from Produce Flame. Uh, let's see. 13 hits. Thir 13 does not hit. 15 hits. Okay. Then it's a miss. Cool. Uh, alarm bells are still going off in Ba. The chickens are pissed. Something made a loud boom. Uh, everything is uh, weird. Azari, uh, yours will go ahead and try and slash you with the claw. It, you know what? Hold on. Odd claw, even pierce, or even bite. So it's going to try and bite you. Okay. And then, uh, same thing, odd, even. It will leap at Ingve. Oh. Okay. Uh, so it's Sorry about you. <laughs> For the 15, that's 22 to that hit, yeah. you. Two and an eight, 10 plus five, 15 damage. The fiery creature kind of lifts off 
really poorly and attempts to land on Ingve Firestarter. <laughs> Missing with a four plus seven is 11. Dave. It's definitely going to try and bite you. Same thing. It's going to leap at Ruck, or I'm sorry, Ruck here. It's pecking you and leaping at Dave. Okay. Uh, 15 plus 7 is 22 on Ruck here. That'll hit me. Yeah. Uh, 19 plus 7 is 26 That's gonna on hit Dave. Dave. Uh, Dave needs a strength check. Oh. Dave, good at those. <laughs> they better be because this could be bad. That's a natural 20 plus 6 is uh, 26. Uh, that saves. 14 damage to Rakir as that beak penetrates him pretty bad. Uh, Dave <laughs> takes uh, 9 plus 5, 14 slashing, so 7, seven uh, slashing. The two chickens are now on Ingve and Dave. Uh, new round, Azari, Nat 20, you're up first. All right, uh, shooting the uh chicken again with a sharpshooter. Uh, actually, I will bonus action hunter's mark that chicken first, sure. Uh, and then I will sharpshooter the chicken. Uh, you said 15 to hit, okay, that's a 17 to hit. Cool. Okay. So that's a D8 plus a D6 for that. Nice. Uh, so that's 8 plus 3 is 11, plus 4 is 15, plus 10 is 25 damage. That is enough to bring the chicken low. Hey! hey. Rock here, your chicken. Okay, so now is my chicken still on me? No, your chicken is now on Ingve. Okay, or, so I'm, I'm going to go over there. I'm going to go over there, and I'm going to close whatever distance I have to do. And again, quarter staff, and then follow up with the bonus action roundhouse kick on arm strike. Sure. It only went like 10 feet. That's a 14 with my, um, I don't think that hits, no. So that was the... the Feathers spill the air. <laughs> and then the roundhouse kick. That is a 17. Does that hit? 17 hits. 17 hits. You've kicked it in its anus. <laughs> uh, and with the four weird. plus three, that's a seven hit points of bludgeoning, or maybe it's piercing. Ha ha. Uh, uh, it goes down as well. Uh, <laughs> both chickens oh. go down. This time, it'll be a natural one if the arrows hit you because. Uh, the people in Ba see what they're aiming at. Whether or not that's good or bad remains to be seen. It's not us. <laughs> hey, no. Here's back. There's Ingve. probably someone who wants to be dead. Ingve, an arrow almost nails you. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, Azari safe. Rock here. An arrow really almost hits you. <laughs> so. Ingve, rock here. But most of the arrows uh, are going north of you, uh, where the creatures came from. Uh, as the grass sparsely lights up the dry spots, uh, you can see figures in full retreat north. Uh, kind of hulking looking figures, similar to what, uh, you know, uh, Chunks was dealing with. Uh, but they are in full retreat. Well, that makes Back sense like, because everyone would have noticed that Rakir, mm -hmm. after uh, kicking the uh, chicken in the head and knocking it out to kill it, is going to take a few seconds. Uh, to uh, try to get that third eye out of its uh, out of its skull, and that's roughly around the same time that that arrow probably gets real close because they were probably aiming for the chickens, and that's sure. And he yeah, moved we'll in go with that. To it. Yeah, <laughs> that wasn't yeah. low kai T and one up. Uh, go yeah. ahead, and give me an animal handling to pop out that eyeball. Okay, animal handling. I get a on that. 
That'll be a 16. You got an eye. You got an eye for this job. No. Creepy. I, I want to know what one. happens when they die. Because the light goes out in their eyes. And I want to know why. Everybody, perception check at disadvantage. Ooh. 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 20. <laughs> and it, that's a 12. Perception plus 2. 14. Uh, 16. 15. There's the one. Uh, Dave, you hear some gurgling somewhere, but you know there's not a river around here. Ooh, does it sound like someone's dying? It does not. It sounds like water on rock. Or more aptly, fluid on rock. Okay. Uh, well, I can hear what direction it's coming from. It's coming from Ba. You guys are fairly close to the foothill of Ba. Uh, maybe a few hundred yards more is where Azari uh, did the water slide. That was fun. Good times. <laughs> but the, the fluid sound is right around this rockier aspect of it. Go check it out. Uh, this area looks like you could climb back into Ba, but as you reach up on the stone. Oil? A black viscous substance seems to have coated this area. Oil. Even above Dave. you, above Even you, Dave knows you that hear, so shit. Yeah, above you, you hear, who goes there? And an arrow lands aiming for you. Uh, not even close. Nearly hits Ruck here behind you. <laughs> Dave of Ba! Go away, Dave of Ba. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> you uh, damn fuller. Fuck bastard. you! <laughs> Go away, <laughs> Dave. Dave. Yeah, tell Dave go Ooh. away. Somewhere, Peck Peck is sitting on a stone with a wheat stalk in his mouth. Fucking adventures. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so the main gate is behind you. Yeah, let's go to the main gate. If we get cussed out, should have known it was Peck Peck if he didn't shoot it. <clears throat> As you arrive, you find Peck Peck and his associate at the gate shaking their heads. And as they see you, <laughs> they're clearly overjoyed. Uh, yeah, how are, how are the refugees doing with the mud hut and all that? Oh, you mean on the other side of the gate that you can't see? Oh. No, the mud hut was on the outside. Remember, I had to. They weren't allowed in the city. The, the mud huts are in the front. Oh, okay. And, and then there's the gate that you guys climbed Got over. It. Okay, we're not there yet. Okay. Correct. All right. Uh, guards line the fortified walls. Who goes there? It's Azari and Dave. Ingve and Rakir. The clouds part, basking the area in moonlight. You can see a large number of your fellow Ba citizens manning the walls. Each have torches and lit arrows and are focused down at you. As they see that it is you, they pull back their bows. But an imposing figure that everybody knows Lokai stands atop. Why are you outside the walls? You are helping our enemies. Yes, of course, Lokai. We're completely trying to destroy the city we grew up in and the people we've known and come to bring back only to <laughs> ruin it all currently for the situation at hand. Of course, that makes perfect sense. Why hadn't we thought of it before? She goes into a long soliloquy, rallying the <laughs> troops, pointing out that you guys have brought foreigners to their city. 
you have disregarded their laws. You are on the wrong side. And Lokai picks up a longbow, takes a special arrow out, aims, and releases. There are six of you. <laughs> what a natural Peck Peck. 20. Peck Peck's friend takes an arrow oh, to the forehead and <laughs> drops into the grass. Oh my God. Dead as Lincoln. <laughs> and I am out of spells. <laughs> Peck Peck raises his hands and drops to his knees, supplicating himself. Oh. There is silence among the troops on the wall. Lokai points down, leave traitors, go join your whopper friends and never darken our doorstep. Archers, arm yourselves. Reluctantly. <laughs> oh, man. And Again, Dave, you hear trickling. Hmm. Dave, if I may ask before we <laughs> are littered with a ever presently increasing amount of arrows, what was the trickling you found earlier? Oil. <laughs> It's all over the rocks. It's all Dave. over my knees, Peck Peck says. Go right there. Thank you. Peck Peck, I would recommend walking away. Uh, Dave. No offense, Azari. I'm not moving. <laughs> well, good luck then. Hopefully you are not murdered by the zealots inside. Lokai leans down and says, you too, traitor. Your people are dead to you. Leave. Peck Peck drops his hands and he starts hauling ass towards the battlefield. Told you. Uh, <laughs> told you. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll say one quick little thing. I, this isn't, I'm, I'm not going to try to say something bad. I'm just going to just look right at Lokai and say, didn't we save your life once? Don't you at least owe us a chance to explain what happened? Because we did save her life. Yeah, you did. She broadly exclaims, my passion is for the people of Ba, and they are my responsibility. I can no, honor passion your debt. was for Doff, who lies dead over there because he didn't follow orders. No, now no, give no, us no, a chance no, 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 to explain no. ourselves. No, 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 no. Azari leaves. Azari <laughs> just starts walking towards the, the tree line. There's to dead get away. silence and everybody looks at Lokai. Uh, you can't tell from her facial features but you can tell quickly that she grabs an arrow, lights it, and boom, right down into the grass by you guys. The prairie grass woof, ignites. Some of it goes up against the uh, stockade fence, but the fence has been coated, so it immediately drops. But the fire is spreading quickly towards you guys. So maybe that Azari was the best thing runs. to say. Probably. I'm following Azari. Everybody have... roll dexterity. <laughs> 35 speed. Azari will fall eighth. 16. Right. That's not too bad. That's um that'll be a dirty 19. That's not too bad. That's pretty goddamn good. Yeah. It beats my 16 all to hell. Uh, he doesn't have to outrun the arrows, just you. 20. <laughs> Ingve? Uh you said a dex check? Yep. Okay. Uh let's see. 16 plus 3, 19. Uh, you guys all managed to outrun the flame. Uh, the dry grass here uh, ignites. Uh, it doesn't ignite as fast as the oil slickened area, but now they have a good clear section here. Uh, as you guys get to the point where Doff, rest in peace, his two associates, uh, part of the Whoppers are at, uh, arrows 
fly from the wall. I'll go with natural 20s again. Um, I'll say eight of them, so two at a time. Dave, uh, 12 and 18. Inge, one and 13. Azari, seven and nine. Rakir, seven and 10. Uh, the arrows <laughs> all fall short. Um, and you manage to get out of longbow range. Uh, you have now traveled past the body of Doff. You guys have gone in a southwesterly direction at this point in time. Uh, this Ooh. is where your bird was at and the owl bear that Lokai uh, nearly died from. Uh, so you guys are headed in that direction. Before Jeez, we get like, something I said. Like when we're just at the edge of their longbow <laughs> range, because I can shoot a longbow without disadvantage. Uh, <coughs> And uh, because I took sharpshooter, so I can ignore, uh, I don't have disadvantage from long range. Can I still kind of see where Lokai was at on the D12 against me? Line? Okay. Yeah, put one in her face. Ten again. Ah, uh, six. Yeah, you're pretty sure you know which one she is. <laughs> mm, no, no, I won't do it. I want to I wanna be 100% sure I can hit her. It and might I be would... Ingve's mom. Give it a shot. <laughs> Ingve's mom died. <laughs> for, oh, that's all, right. for all I know, she take eleven died. minutes to die, though. No, as far as I know, she didn't. <laughs> Azari puts an arrow into her grave. <laughs> it's your... already flowering, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Azari, your choice. You aren't. You aren't positive. You got a good idea. You probably okay, can't... Azari will Azari will stop. He'll um uh he'll take some uh uh he'll oh does do I have that kind of equipment? No, I don't. Uh, no, I thought I might be able to make like a note and fire it off in the arrow into the wall for my dad at least. Uh Rock here, if you try that, I'm gonna take one extra arrow shot. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Matt 20. <laughs> what, uh, what was he trying to do? Oh, my God. Uh, we need to get you a, a dice cam, Frank. <laughs> yeah. Frank here was trying to be sneaky. Oh, uh, no. Well, he, he does what he wanted, but in the process, uh, and we'll use the murder hobo con die. Five plus one, six damage as the shaft buries itself in your buttocks region there, Forrest. Uh, as you guys turn around, you notice that Rakir is stuck off towards Doff's body, torn off his head, and is attaching it to one of the uh, whopper sticks, kind of sticking it on a, a pike, if you will, as an arrow zings out with a lucky shot Right in his butt. Mm. Wow. <laughs> one could that, say that. And too. that wasn't yeah. even this one. <laughs> Ingve, I, I, I might be able to use a little bit of healing about right now. It's going to take about 10 minutes, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's best if we find a secure place for shelter for the rest of the evening. I'll, I'll, use, a, I'll use a Probably med kit idea. on, on Rook here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, are you going to find shelter first or do the healing? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. You'll have to deal with the arrow in the ass for now. Boom, but you're walking like yeah. Festus. <laughs> uh, so uh, you can't go to Ba because that would clearly be the most fortified section. Uh, and it's about two o'clock in the morning. Uh, so you know it's grasslands out here. You might be safe down by the lake, but you still got the fucking whoppers running around out here, uh, as well as uh, the, uh, what did we call those things with the feathers? Uh, Take the bows. Turkeys. I forget. No, those were the um, uh, acras. Yeah. Acra, yeah. Acras. Uh, acras. So you, you got yeah. those things running around, and you know that there was an owlbear out here as well. 
Chattel. Well, we did so, kill the Albert, so. So who wants to do their survival check? I'll only take one to see if you can find a suitable place. Uh, Ingve will take a shot at it. Beat my roll of 11. 11? Uh, 10. I fail. <laughs> oh, you got a great place. There are no problems right here. This is a safe place, guys. This is better than nothing. We'll take watches. Already? Who wants I'll to take, take the first, first watch? Okay. Uh, D12. Sorry, Will. D12 against me? Two? Eleven. Uh, who wants second watch? Because there's only going to be two watches. Dave. One. Three. <laughs> uh, Thank goodness. Dawn kicks up. Uh, light is Wait, spoken. what's she wearing? Uh, <laughs> and it's going to be storming today. <laughs> <laughs> Looking around, uh, Ingve has found a tree uh, where you guys have gathered shelter. It's a large tree, very tall tree. Ingve, roll a d20. Let's see if lightning hits this tree and you guys with it. <laughs> if you match my roll, you're in trouble. Okay, just a straight up d20. Straight up d20. Yep, 10. 19, you are yep. safe. Uh, it's a thunderstorm here. Uh, good news is the fire in the grasslands out. Uh, the oil will be pretty much useless unless they have more. <laughs> um, peck, peck. You guys happy with yourself? Ecstatic. Thank you, peck, peck. I appreciate your camera. Why doesn't Here, Dave show just you. kill me now? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You should maybe step back to Bond. You can take a uh, hail. <clears throat> well, what are we going to do? Oh, well, I mean, I'm worried about uh, the, the rest of your people. Uh, you know, unfortunately, they're at the mercy of them. <laughs> yeah, thanks yeah. for that. We need to find a way to stop this fight. We need to find a way to stop Loki. She's yeah. we need to kill her. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> She's finally yeah. have something Dave understands. She's become less of a leader and more of a monster. I mean, I can I can send a message to your father, Azari. I mean, if if you'd like. It may be good that for them to know. Um, just that we're alive and safe. So uh, dear. If he has oh. any news of uh, we're alive and safe as of right now, if he has any news of this situation. Right. Uh, relay, he may relay will reach can. in his pouch and pull out a little bit of parchment and uh, uh, a quill and ink and let Azari write uh, a message. I was just going to send a raven. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, Azari mm -hmm. will write it in Leonin, so that yes. way only his father, so only his father would be able to read it, uh, or his mom it had to be one of his family members, so he'll write it in Leonin, um, that as of right now, they're alive and safe. Uh, trying is to find a way. still with us? Yeah. He is. Uh, yes. I think doesn't count. He's just He's here because it's our fault. <laughs> Everything's our fault. Um, we're as of right now, we're alive and safe. Um, if he can send word uh, back through this raven, um, it would be appreciated. We'll uh, about how far away are we from from town? About a mile. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. I'll I'll summon the familiar uh, and. Um, attach it but i will connect to the familiar so i'm flying the familiar pretty much so i'm seeing through its eyes basically. give me a d4 please okay 
Uh, two. Fair enough. Uh, as you're beast mastering your way in, uh, you can see the fortress Ba coming up. Uh, you can also hear through your familiar, I assume. Uh -huh. The sound that you heard last night is the sound you hear right now. Large, thunderous boom. Uh, the familiar kind of swoops uh, and nothing happens and it flies into town. Okay. I'm assuming you know where Azari's family lives. No, I do. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. You land on their scoop. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to to pack at either the door or something or something. So. <coughs> sure. Uh, D12 against me. Okay. Hope they're not hungry. Seven. <laughs> Ten. I can speak through the familiar. That's why. Uh, Azari's sister, who is not in a coma, uh, opens up the door and looks at the bird. Okay. Um, the, the, I just keep it simple. Uh, it's just, uh, I just say message from Azari. The bird just, you know, like a raven mocking a call. Thank you, Alexa. I will accept. <laughs> <laughs> Collect call from Azari. Right. Yeah. So, so the. Sorry, I'm okay. Just pick up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> What's that commercial? <laughs> it's Bob. Uh, we have. Sorry, we're okay. I'm we're about a mile away. We're okay. We hope to see you soon. Yeah. So uh, I, I raised I raised the talon uh, with the with the parchment attached to it. So. Uh, she takes it. To give me an insight check. Okay. Will you accept the charges from? I got your weed, motherfucker. <laughs> it's Bob. We had a boy. <laughs> you know. Uh, insight. Uh, yeah, uh, fourteen for insight. Looks like she's been crying. Oh no. Okay. Crying. Uh, crying. She takes it. Uh, walks inside. Uh, from your vantage point, you can see Azari's other sister. Uh, is it Alifa or Althea? Alifa is the sister who's my twin. His other sister oh, is uh, Orame. So Orame takes it. Alifa is still laid out in bed. Uh, you do not see anybody else, Ingve. Uh Scrawl, scrawl, scrawl. Hands it back to the bird. Okay. All right. I raise my talent so she can connect it, uh, tie it. Sure. And um, yeah, I'll I'll take I'll head back to camp. So. Uh the bird flies over. The bowmen are looking up at it. Uh, probably, maybe I don't know. Do they recognize it? Yeah, they recognize it. Uh, but you don't see Lokai. Kai. Uh, mm -hmm. As you continue to sail off, Lokai is outside the fence line. Uh, with a couple of people and has discovered the severed head of Doff. <laughs> uh, bum, 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 bum. And oh, they appear boy. to notice the blood trail uh, from the anus blood of Rakir. <laughs> 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 the bird continues to float. You hear <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> 19. That familiar <laughs> Yep, it's uh, it's uh, it's Stardust now. <laughs> uh, about a about a hundred yards away, because everybody else can see it coming in. But Ingve, you, you just lose sight of everything and kind of shake it off. Yeah, you, you kind of know where it is. Uh, uh -huh. Dave, Azari, and Rakir, give me perception checks. Let's see if you know where the uh, missive has fallen. Twenty-three. Uh, oh. Six. Uh, Azari, you also know where it fell. Ingve, you were controlling it. Mm -hmm. Pilots always know where it falls. So you, you know the missive's out there. Yeah. Because that's not part of the familiar. Uh, you don't know where that noise came from, uh, but you've heard it three times now. Okay. I'll uh, beeline for the missive. 
Are, are you guys Steve all Majors. watching Azari take off or any of you going with him? Or actually, oh, he'll, him. Azari, will, Azari will look 30 feet back, everyone, and he'll start running. So, Peck, 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 Peck's gonna just, sit there. just real quick, what was there any was there any healing that happened overnight? Yeah, you guys are healed. Yeah. Okay. You guys are healed. You got your key points back. Um, Peck Peck is horribly scarred. I mean, he, yeah. he, he's in bad shape. He's I would have, I would have topped uh, Rick here <laughs> off this morning because <laughs> I had a, here, a here, spell slot. Here, here, here. So Azari's going. Anybody or else and going? Dave. Sorry. <laughs> you okay? Are you a TikTok video? <laughs> Anybody going with Azari or Azari? I am. Alone? Yeah, okay. I will. Three yeah. of you. I'll stay back with Peck. 30 feet behind him, just like he said. Fair enough. Azari, you're running, dodging, don't see shit, uh, hilly land, uh, moderately high grass, not as high as closer to Ba. Uh, you get to the area, of course, there are no feathers because it was a magical enchantment. Give me an investigation yeah. check to find the missive. Uh, Rakir and Dave, you are flanking 30 feet behind. Oh, that's cut. Uh, 17. Yeah, you see the missive lying there. I snag it and then I start heading back because I have lots of tiny holes in it. Dave and Rakir, uh, give me a perception check. Uh, 20, 30. Oh. Rock here, you're keeping an eye on Azari. Dave, your peripheral vision catches a figure go high out of the grass and aim a staff at Azari. And I'll fires. fling a javelin at it. Uh, 17 hit you, Azari. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody hears the boom. Uh, Dave, <laughs> you see flame extend out of this staff. Yep. Uh, and you see, Azari. I'm already, hur I'm already hurling a javelin at him. Yep. Or it, uh, whatever it is. Uh, Azari. that'll be, yeah. Okay. Seven hit points, Azari, as you are peppered really with good. small pellets. Ah, son of a bitch. Uh, I'll take it and roll and turn with my bow and I'll. Do the now jump shot. Back. Now, when you roll, you'll be under the grass. Dave, what did you um, hit, Dave? Uh, 18 hit. Uh, 18 does hit. Eight points of piercing. Okay. So, Azari, you are now dropped down. Uh, so Azari will roll, and he'll, like, jump up. He'll, like, jump. Uh, he'll, like, jump eight, like, do a scan if he sees it. He'll fire at the person. So he's above the grass so he can see. Uh, everybody roll initiative. But a rolled initiative. Okay. That being day and pack packed. <laughs> and uh, four. Uh, Dave, you see the individual turn their staff at you. You see fire and smoke erupt. Nothing happens. You're out of range. That's why you don't use bird shot, boys and girls. You use deer <laughs> slugs. <laughs> going to say, I'm uh, being threatening. I'm going to try and close. Sure. Uh, and this misshapen dwarf looking motherfucker is now hoisted the staff up like he's in the Revolutionary War and he is going to charge. Somebody ran out of ammo. <laughs> At Dave, somebody knows how to count. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Dave, you are last. You will close 12. Azari, you're first. Uh, if you pop your head up, you will see the two titans closing on each other. Well, I will fire on him. Oh, he's dead. Uh, with sharpshooter, that's a natural 20. Like, yeah, I, oh, I should have done my stupid uh, thing. Okay. Uh, he takes 14. 
plus eight. Uh, 28 points of damage on the first attack. So that's 36. Uh, uh, then on the second attack, because I get to, it's part of my Gloomstalker feature, I make an additional attack, attack which deals an extra eight damage. Oh. Uh, so that's a 24 to hit. Mm-hmm. Okay, so then that's another three, 11, 15 more points of piercing damage. I forgot to sharpshoot it a second shot. Rock here. So, so then I'm, sh- I'm sure I understood what's happening from what my point of view is. Um, we were following Aziri, right? Mm-hmm. And you said something about we think that Lokai. What now? Actually, I don't know that, right? So Ingve may have seen Lokai, right? Okay. Uh-huh. So no, you, the, see, you see a misshapen dwarf with a magical staff that shoots fire and smoke. Um, all right. I will. I will close the distance, but I I'm going to try to do it uh, stealthily. And I, I, I'm, I want to observe what is going on here, um, sure. because it, I, 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 I want to know how this dwarf got here. Uh, I mean, that's weird. We, we've been sitting here now. A dwarf, this one of these misshapen dwarfs, just appears. Now I, I'll, I'll move at half speed and try to stealthily approach to under and and to try to be a little bit more observant as to what's going on. Stealth and okay. dexterity check, please. All right, stealth. That make a lot of sense. Stealth is a dirty 20, 17 plus three. Yeah, you kind of hunch low, kind of keeping your eye just above the grass line. Dexterity. Okay. Dexterity. Ugh. No, that's not great. No, that's a seven. Go for a hole, you trip. <laughs> no damage. Okay. Dave, you are closing the distance. Uh, apparently not being stealthy at all. Give me a dexterity check. Let's see if you hit a gopher hole. Uh, 16. No gopher hole. You close, but the individual drops below your line of sight. I want to try and find him. Do you continue at full speed? Yeah. Okay. Give me an investigation check. Sure. Uh, 19 minus 2 is 17. You find him. He has two arrows in his gut, and blood is pouring freely out of both wounds. Ooh, blood. He is pale and does not appear to be breathing. I legolas the shit out of that guy. (laughs) (laughs) Next, Next to him is his magical staff. I'm going to grab that and give it to Ingve when I see him. Uh, the staff itself is about four feet long. Uh, it has two metal bars that are hollow and a wooden end piece. Which end do you grab? Odd is the metal, even is the wood. One, you burn your hand. <laughs> For two hit points of damage as you grab this magical staff. Okay. Clearly, it is enchanted. Clearly. Ow! Evil! I'll, sh- I'll switch to holding it by the wood. You hold it by the wood, and it's uh, somewhat balanced. Uh, it is still smoking from the middle section of it. Uh, I don't Azari, know what to do. Rakir, you guys come running up. Did I get him? Yeah, you got him. Yeah. Ingve, uh, back under the tree. So, are you going to be the one that kills me today? No, of course not. I'm the one that, that pulls your bacon out of the fire, usually, my friend. <laughs> Maybe you should pull the bacon out of the fire with Dave. <laughs> I, I, let, let's face it, only one monster is hit Peck Peck. Dave's hit him, I think, five times now for a substantial amount of damage each time and uh, left him to die on the rock at the cliff. Yeah, Peck Peck 
I advise you just not to pair up with Dave whatsoever. <laughs> really? Really, Professor? Really? Yeah. <laughs> I, I know I'm Beckley's stating the professor? obvious, but <laughs> give him a wide berth. Breakfast. Uh, he wanders Good up luck. in the grass. Uh, Azari, Rakir, and Dave, uh, you are surrounded the dead body of this horribly misshapen, very girthy dwarf looking thing uh, it's uh, clearly a great thing to see but since you guys don't know what a dwarf is uh, but it, it's a ruddy huh. bearded huh. patchy headed thing yeah. I take my arrows back and we'll, I'll check the body for anything uh, 2D, change. 2d20s for uh, pulling the arrows out okay <clears throat> Uh, 18 and a 14. Both come out. Uh, Dave has the wondrous staff of Fire power. Stick. We can call it a boom stick if you want. Boom <laughs> stick. Boom stick. We're going to check the dwarf body, see if it has anything else on it. It has coiled metal. Very thin strands, almost in a okay. rope but very thin, very pliable, uh, kind of a uh, brownish-reddish color. Okay. Uh, but I, you can't perceive a use for it because clearly it's flimsy, so it must be magical. Um, cool. But whatever. You also notice that uh, this creature was armored with some kind of uh, tough, durable plating that covered the shoulder and the pectorals, as well as the uh, uh, backbone. Hmm. So it did think not of, cover think his of NFL's shoulder pad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these guys are road warriors now. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we can take the armor if it'd be, well, I don't know how useful it would be for any of us. Um. Rakir, Let's take the coils. You find uh, three strange cylindrical items. Uh, most of it is coated in a strange substance, possibly bone, while the tip of it is metal. Hmm. There are three of them. Ah, I give it to Ingbe. Say, I don't know, Ingbe. This is this is strange things. Yeah, uh, Ingvay's not there yet. Yeah. Okay. You gotta wait until I give him to Dave. Let's... I give him to Dave. Dave. Yeah. There, there are things made of bone. Maybe that is cool. What do you think? Bone? Doesn't smell like bone. Huh. Zari, you find three more similar items, but instead of being contained, one end is open on each of the three pieces. Hmm. So it is a cylindrical tube, possibly bone, metal tipped, the bone end has been blown out. You find three, the three that Rakir found are intact. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> and well, the flexible let's, wire. Let's take this. Let's take the <laughs> wire and the the bone pieces and the staff. We'll take it back and see what Ingve how Ingve feels about it, and we can work from there. Yeah, I, it's weird. Dave, uh, in your search of the body, you find a note written on some old parchment. In a foreign language. Sorry. The marks. Ah, uh, I'll take the paper and see if I can read it. Well, you can't read it because it's more of a pictograph. Unless it's like a cow with a spear in it, Dave doesn't get it. <laughs> nice. Uh, 
Devilry, obviously. In insight for all four of you. <laughs> Devil summoning. Oh, perfect. I have a minus one. Oh, wait, <laughs> insight's a wisdom, right? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, have, a, I yeah. have a two. It's a 21. Dirty 21 for me. Uh, 23. Uh, if they're back and I'm rolling, yeah, 17 for Ingve. Azari and Rakir, this looks strangely like a note made by a child to a parent. Mm. Es essentially, it's, hey, dad, have a good day at work. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, uh, he chose a shitty job application. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, uh, I have uh, this is not taking that bullshit. job. Just because your family is dead, Rakia does not, or none, or who knows, does not mean it is poorly created. Rakia's dad is probably the big bad guy. People die all the time, but it does not mean they do. Is bad. They do. They do. I, I just fail <laughs> to see the utility, but. I defer to things I don't know. Well, one day, if you ever have the joy of having a child, maybe <coughs> you will see that uh, even the simplest things it gives you will uh, shine light upon your situation. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, I wouldn't hold my breath. <laughs> but I'm not. But, I'm but, just but, giving but you insight. I, I, I understand. What you mean? I, I just as, right as now, you guys it just escapes me. As you guys make this deep philosophical discussion, Peck Peck <laughs> arrives and he has three long-haired rabbits. Uh, as he passes by you, he asks if you two are going to kiss, and then he begins to start making a fire so that he can cook the rabbits. <laughs> uh, it is actually. I read the note. Um, the books. Uh, that I had taken from Gizba's home. Uh, actually, the... my... <laughs> I'm all right with that. We can uh, add that to the list. <laughs> uh, my family, my <coughs> mother actually read them, and uh, it looks like we should go to your for solutions. Uh, it is a it is a city, but that is our. That is an option. That is the option we have right now. The only option. Oh, I, I, I think there are maybe one or two other options. Do you, what, would that, what would that be that doesn't involve our immediate deaths or you immediately killing someone? For or my immediate death. As Peck Peck or Peck Peck's immediate <laughs> death. Uh, <clears throat> make sure, Dave, I'm, if you could keep yourself... Uh, 10 arm links from Peck Peck almost at all times just for his own safety. Or at least two arm links. Well, I was hoping, Azari, that maybe, <laughs> maybe we could find a way back into the city and then the city of Bob and making some contact with your family and then maybe escaping with them. No. No, I will not. I will not put my family in danger for to shuffle them off into the unknown. I have a sister who is comatose and who has done nothing. A father who, more than likely, if we fail in any position, would leave us all to die. As well as a mother who would save us while at the same time being completely disappointed in every action we make. And another sister who is far more capable than any of us put together. I'd rather not place them into a situation that we should handle on our own as it's our own fault. If I put them in there, that would be that would be admitting that I cannot do anything my own. Well, and that's maybe probably the worst situation. Getting in there and then to maybe taking care of Lokai and then finding more information. I'm just throwing that out there. She did kind of, you know. Peck Peck interrupts and hands each of you a stick with some kind of charred meat on it. Dave, he walks up to you, drops the stick, and turns back around. 
still a little angry. <laughs> At the end of the day, Azari, I'll, I'll, I will follow your lead. I just don't like being disrespected that way. And I'm sure you don't either. But yes, I, will, but I will follow your lead. It would be foolish for us to step in the back in the bar at our <laughs> current level of strength. We would need something. We need something else to get back in, something that would make our uh, survivability much higher. Push off. <laughs> I'd rather I not. I don't I'd disagree not. with you. I don't disagree with you, but Lokai will only get stronger. So will we. And hopefully we'll Fair just enough. be a little bit stronger. Um, Fair enough. I'd rather not face Lokai yet. If it were just her against us, then yes. But we have to kill our own people. Not that that would be an issue for some of us. Dave. But for us. <laughs> <laughs> But that, that, that's what Tech Tech says with his mouth. It may be difficult. <laughs> Dave, maybe if we can kill him. <laughs> maybe if we can somehow turn the hearts of our village against Lokai, that would be more effective. And we need something that would be able to do that other than our own words, because it would seem right. to be pointless. Plus, it probably did not help that uh uh, it probably didn't help that Rakir decided to goad uh, Lokai with the death of Doth in front of an entire contingent of the town. She yeah, was they... demagoguing. She was she yeah. was trying to put herself as the martyr of the entire town. And you know mm -hmm. and I know she's just bullshitting everyone. This yes. is how she... I, I, Ingle, what's a demo joke? You're right. You're, no, you're right. Sorry, you're right. I said, I, I, I should not have said what I said. She Maybe just if you pissed had me not off. Pointed it out in such a excited or giggly tone, <laughs> it maybe would have gone over much better. Um, maybe you're right. At least we killed Doc. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Uh, as do I not, said, I will follow do not mistake your lead. It. At the end of the day, I'll follow your lead. Golf was a poor choice in most things, but huh. I'll, in the simplest yeah. terms, Ingve will explain what a demagogue is to, <laughs> to day. Oh, Dave Hedder. Uh -huh. Dave, Dave, give me an intelligence check. Okay. <laughs> Ingve Dave says did. basically it's oh, a cheat. Dave who did loves really, really good. And, uh, Eleven uh, people. <laughs> Dave shakes his head. Clearly, he has no idea. But he, he has no idea. <laughs> Peck, Peck. Right, Dave only took two points. Dave, like Dave no, point. Dave, no, no demagoguing. Uh, no, I'll, I, I will shut up now. <laughs> Peck, Peck, Peck wants to know what we're gonna do. Do we, Azari? Didn't you say you grew up in this area? Yes. We need to head back to your. We can head to your, um, and that's where we'll be able to find a solution to our current problem. Hopefully even the problem mm -hmm. for your people. Peck, Peck, I can understand if you wish to go back to the other side to your people or to find them instead of coming with us. As you and have my before. face look like his ass? No, I'll pass. <laughs> uh, I, I did not know if you'd prefer to Try and find I, your people. Yeah, Those come with Dave. Stuff. I will walk at the back or at the front, wherever Dave is not. <laughs> where, where is your? Uh, do we remember exactly? Ooh. Like the mountains. North? Yeah. The mountains. It's in the mountain range. <clears throat> uh, looking off into the distance, he's like, Those mountains? That's a couple of days. I did not say the journey was short. Mighty Hunter. Peck, Peck, you've, you have been nothing short of amazing Whiny. this entire journey. Bitchy. And you, have, <laughs> and you have taken a series of events that would fell most men and have survived. Amazingly. Do you still wish to journey with us? For your own safety, as 
I don't have any other choice. I cannot survive on my own. I can't survive no, no the shame. <laughs> I, I, I will go with you in the hopes that whatever is in your will provide an answer for my people if they live. Is, is all of Ba like Dave or are they like nice people? A lot of them are like me. Great. <laughs> <laughs> as I look at as I look at Peck Peck, I apologize, Peck Peck. My family is a transplant. I'm not originally <laughs> from here. I uh, like you. I'm an immigrant to uh, Bob. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's go. I too am a refugee. <laughs> uh, Rock here, give me a D6, please. Dave missed when we were children to use small words. It's going to take about three days to get to the mountain range. After that, you have no idea where your is at. Uh, hopefully, there will be a street sign or something. Uh, Maybe but, a road, people walk. Uh, what's a road? <laughs> uh, day one, you already know it's thunderstorming. Everybody roll a d20. If you get a one or a two, you're going to have your hair removed. <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> Seven. Five. Peck Peck gets a 12. Rock here, uh, lightning bolt. Uh, a little close for you. A little close. <laughs> uh, you guys are moving into the high grasslands. Uh, now, yeah. if you go closer to Ba, you may hope to find a trail. That can be good or bad uh, because you will be within range of Ba archers. You may also be in range of these weirdo uh, transmorph dwarves. Uh, or you can just make a fucking beeline because you can see the mountains. They're right there. It's like a Vegas mile. Let's just make a beeline. <clears throat> day, crow flies. day two. Run, run, get around, we get around. Over to the right, behind Ba, where you guys uh, experienced your uh, hunt, uh, is a tornado. Uh, there is debris. The rain is continues to fall. The high grasses are just getting pelted. Uh, you guys are getting pelted with hail. Everybody roll a d20. See if you get hit with a baseball-sized piece of hail. Um, Thirteen. Uh, Dave, you narrowly miss getting beamed by a piece of hail. Uh, and one of you sees one of Deb's cows. <laughs> oh, great, it's Twister. Yeah. Uh, Same cow. <laughs> one, one north, two east. This is Lokai's fault. So I blame Lokai. Three, it lands behind you. Ah, uh, upside down, inverted. Uh, it lands behind you and <laughs> snap. <laughs> Let's go get dinner. That well, if it stops happen. raining, we could cook it. <laughs> Anytime Dave moves, Peck Peck moves. <laughs> there will it's be like no a, close quarters. It's Peck like Peck has, intimate, Peck Peck has intimately calculated the length of Dave's arms and axe, and he stays five feet beyond that. It's like he's got a stick attached to his chest and your back. And he moves. <laughs> he will it's not like one of those. It's, it's 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 like one of those COVID distance things. You yes. know <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's like, it might cool. not work six well six, if Dave six, rolls that one. <laughs> Uh, Dave, uh, did you want to go collect the meat? Heck yeah, we need yeah. to eat. Give me an animal handling. Let's see how much you uh, are able to butcher successfully. Uh, 17. Give me a percentage. Uh oh, 81. I'm always afraid when you ask for percentages. <laughs> Two, <laughs> yeah, uh, 59. Uh, you get a little over half the thing butchered correctly. You've got its intestines hanging off you. And uh, you look up, and Peck Peck's like, <laughs> uh, but you do manage to butcher almost sixty percent of it successfully. Uh, crows, carrion vultures, things of that nature 
are circling. The twister moves off east, probably towards Pe Peck's birthplace to destroy it. <laughs> Good thing I didn't have to fight that. Soon we'll see all of Peck Peck's people in the twister. Yeah. <laughs> That just their heads because Lokai had yeah. them all beheaded. Oh, jeez. Uh, on day three, she was she was playing bocce ball with them. Uh, <laughs> on day three, you guys find a lava flow. Uh, it's it's a flat lava flow. It's black. It's got little stones, uh, but it's very smooth. Uh, you also notice uh, there's no dirt on it because clearly you've come two days of thunderstorms and today is just overcast. So uh, it kind of runs back towards Ba and then towards Yor. Poke it with my axe handle to see if it's very firm. sturdy, very, very sturdy. Every once in a while, there's a yellow strip down it. Well, let's go to your. Would I know what the yellow strips are from like my from the past? And, Not a well, clue. Well, just to be. You came from a Savannah area. That's true, yeah. Or Augusta, oh. possibly Atlanta. Not sure which. <laughs> <laughs> I do declare. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's keep going. Let's just uh, continue. Yeah. Everybody, perception check. That's why he's so brave. <laughs> I'm uh, gone with the wind. Eight. 22. Uh, 12. 21. Uh, Rakir continues to fumble around with his eye. Azari is doing the left right. Peck Peck is eyeball and Dave. Uh, Dave and Ingve, tendrils of smoke ahead, maybe a mile away, and to your right, uh, Wops? What is it? Wops? Crops. 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 There's no like, Italians what? here. Jesus. You yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> I think I'm offended a little bit. Thank you. The filthy Mi Mick. Ma familia, ma familia. <laughs> yeah, you've, you've wandered into the Godfather. There's violin music in the back. I was about to say. And, and check your da, da, table da, 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 Somebody da, da, comes da, da, in da. and they work for the Department of Sanitation or something. Right. Like Crops. Cro corn. Uh, what? <laughs> or, or as these guys call it, corn. Corn. Okay. All right. Uh, good old fashioned corn. Yeah, you guys have never seen this before. It's kind no. of weird. Uh, but you see birds pecking at it. Uh, they have peeled back some of the skin, and you see the little kernels, uh, but they are in rows. So hmm. you know that this does not occur in nature. Uh, but in the middle of these crops is a clothed individual on a, on a pike uh, hovering above the crops. Several birds are on its shoulders. Uh, it looks like the individual is dead. Yeah. Maybe we should uh, keep our distance. Bodies. No. If there is something that would place a, a, a person on top of a, in the middle of a, a field of crop that they would put their, a person on there, I wish to be Nowhere near that. I'd have to agree. Unless you know of some other reasons they are there. The gurgling of a creek can be heard just up ahead. Ooh, creek. Water. <laughs> creek Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> um, I love the throat cut. Oh, poor creek. <laughs> I Let's think continue you following the uh, path of crops and things that we should run into the village. This is too too tidy for nature. Right. right. There's smoke. Dave does we, point out that there are tendrils of smoke ahead about a mile away. We can we can follow towards the smoke. Smoke would be a sure sign of people. 
or fire at least. Mm -hmm. uh, are you going to stay on the road? I'm sorry, the lava patch. The lava threat. <laughs> uh, sure, I guess. The lava patch actually goes up and over the creek, uh, and red rusted metal uh, hangs loosely from this overpass uh, below uh, a crystal river. I mean, it's just, you can see right to the bottom of the creek bed. Uh, the water is clear. Every once in a while, you guys can spot fish. Peck, peck. Fuck this. I'm thirsty. I'm going to go down and get some water. Well, Anybody coming with? Uh, I will. I'll go yeah. with that. That, that looks interesting. <clears throat> uh, so there's a slight incline to get down to the creek. Uh, as you do, who's going? Dave's not. Dave taking Overwatch. Thank you. Uh, there's four of you then. First one down. Two. Azari, as you skitter down the side, underneath this overhang uh, are cloth fragments billowing in the slight breeze. Behind the cloth fragments, you can hear scuffling noises. Hello? Who goes there? <laughs> Silence. It's too late. I already heard you scuffling back there. I mean no harm. Silence. All right, I will just check out the water then. Uh, you go down towards the creek. Ingve mm -hmm. and Rakir, what are you doing? Same, where I'm following Azari. Rakir? Yeah, um, I, I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to be very, as quietly as I can, um, move up along and try to understand, you know, what's going on. I, I, I didn't hear or see the scuffle or anything like that. I just know that everyone else was on alert, and I heard Azari say, who's there, who's there? So I'll just be on guard. Uh, Peck Peck will take your lead and all and follow you three down to the creek. As you get to the creek, uh, it, it's clear. I mean, it's, it's very clear. Small fish can be seen moving around. Uh, as you keep an eye, you notice that where the cloth was uh, prohibiting you to view, as you get down lower, uh, it is still prohibiting your view. It's almost as if it's a tent of some kind. <clears throat> uh, the breeze billows, but it doesn't make the tent fly up. Uh, as you get down, Peck Peck's like, mm -hmm, fuck it. Yeah. This is good water. Well, I'll fill up my canteen or my water that pouch. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, it, it's and good water. It tastes fill. really yeah. good. Uh, and as you look underneath the underpass, you notice that it feeds the crops. Yeah. I look at it, I said, this is actually cleaner than the water in Ba. I'll, I'll, Geb's cows are not shitting in it. <laughs> probably <laughs> yeah I, i'll i'll take a drink and then um when everyone's done taking a drink i'll move downstream and i'll take a leak as you move downstream you notice that there were only two sides to this tent and you can see a small individual hiding behind some debris inside these two folds uh as you whip out your johnson uh ingve azari and let's see if uh Peck Peck followed who? Uh, Peck Peck is with Ingve. Uh, yeah. The, the Zara will take the time to kind of like get in the water a little bit, wash off. Um, I'm going to steal all your clothes. <laughs> and, uh, he's, not, he's just like washing off his hands, his face, not, uh, not like full, full bathing. So, uh, Rock here, as you are spelling out your name into the water. Uh, you hear a noise. Uh, you look back. 
And clearly there is someone attempting to hide themselves in this shelter, for lack of a better term. Dave, uh, give me a perception check. Yep, yep. Uh, 17, 22. You have a message. Uh, so, Azari, Ingve, and Rakir, what do you want to do? Uh, Ingve's uh, fill it, filling up water skins <laughs> and things like that. Mm -hmm. So, Azari and Rakir. Well, who's ever there does not want to be, you know, bothered, and I really don't care. So, I'll uh, go ahead and work my way back up to the road or lava uh, flow. You see, Dave. Four. <laughs> uh, Rakir, as you kind of follow his gaze, give me a perception check. Eleven. <clears throat> How far out are they? Yeah, pretty far. About 200 yards. Out across the grass, huh? Yep. Okay. There you go, Rock here. You have a message. Ingve and Azari, you are cleaned up, water skin spilled. You uh -huh. are with Peck Peck. What do you want to do now? Uh, since he since I'll take that uh, flexible wire that we had mm -hmm. that I found, um, and he'll put it by the tent. Um, and he'll say, uh, as payment for the water, it is appreciated. Um, and then he uh then I'll make my way up. Uh, you hear some scuffling noise as you get up. You notice that Rakir and Dave are looking off into the distance. Ingve, uh, you saw Azari pitch what you presume to be valuable material. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you and Peck Peck want to do? Uh, I'll follow Azari and then <laughs> just take notice. Uh, I'll look towards the the sheets of uh fabric or whatever to see if i see anything but just follow on up perception at disadvantage okay uh disadvantage yeah that's gonna be a 12. okay uh yeah whatever Uh, as you climb up there, you notice that Rakir, Azari, and Dave are all looking off into the distance, into the fields. You now also spot what appear to be whoppers, uh, maybe 200 yards out, uh, and they are moving in between the rows. Uh, no insight roll was needed. Farmers, maybe? Possibly? Mm. You are atop the lava overhang. Well, uh, let's make our way in peace. Wow. And see if imagine. we can find a way to your. Uh, you mean west? Northwest? No west, young man. Yeah. All right. Uh, as you cross over the creek, uh, you can see some fish. Uh, very nice. Uh, do you maintain your stance on the lava flow? Uh, because it is kind of out in the open. Uh, there are weeds on either side and then crops on the right. Uh, does anyone have objections to? Everybody inside and check. That's probably the easiest way of doing it. Peck Peck has a five. Me. 12. 12. 12. Nope. Two twelves. Two twelves of five. Uh, 20, not natural. And Azari. Uh, uh, Azari and Igve, do you feel exposed on this lava flow? Yeah, I bring that concern to, to Azari and suggest that maybe we walk to the side off the road. 
Agreed. Uh, I bet. The yeah. farmer side or the other side? The other side. Other side. Okay. Uh, one to five. Uh, as you guys move down into the ditch and start to move, uh, you pass what appears to be a strange sign. As you move past it, Peck Peck turns around and says, uh, hey, uh, the sign on the far side uh, says something, but it is it's quite rusty. Uh, a lot of the paint or enamel has been chipped away, but you do see three letters, a Y, an O, and an R. Uh, oh my gosh, are we near New York? Um, okay, let's, uh, which, uh, does it have a direction pointing to it? Like which way? No, but if you turned around, it says this. Um, can't really tell. Mm. So you're either going the right way or the wrong way. Well, let's hope we're going the right way. And uh, I guess just yeah. keep following the kind of staying in the area. Uh, you get to about a half a mile and you notice uh, a settlement, if you will, off to the right side. Uh, the farm fields have continued all the way from where you made the intersection, all the way to the fields. Off in the fields, as you shield yourself, you can see whoppers, uh, misshapen individuals tending to the crops, uh, not heavily armored like the people you dealt with, but clearly they are whoppers. The eyes, the face, everything about them is misshapen. You can Ooh. wait until the next time uh, because it's five till. Uh, uh, Scott, what'd you think? I really wanted to go after Lokai, but I accept that that sometimes um, I have to I have to cool my uh, jets a little bit. <laughs> and, uh, you know, can't always can't always indulge. In what I want to do, but uh, and and that whole thing with the you know picture of the person's person with their mother or father that really kind of threw me. I I, I don't have any. Your soulless bastard is what you are. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I mean, no idea what the hell that meant. You know, why are you, if you're going to send a note to your parents for work, then it should be like you know bring me food or something. I don't know. Yeah, was, <laughs> yeah. was, was, don't die on the job. Yeah. yeah. Spoken like I, a true single person. <laughs> yeah. No, no idea. But but as I, I understand and I respect Azari's leadership in this. So I it will to... prolong the campaign, that's for sure. Because I would have <laughs> turned, you guys, turned you guys into freaking toast. Uh yeah. Jesse, what'd you think? It was good. As we got closer, I was I was like, oh, good. We are just in the town of uh, the recent people we just killed. Uh, some exactly. Killed. Yeah. <laughs> so so well, Yor has the answer. Do you have that little note? Maybe you can find who it was oh, from. Man. I need somebody. Yato? Hey, so, this guy. Uh, who wrote yeah. this? Who wrote this? <laughs> he did this because we killed your dad. Uh, <laughs> no, that doesn't uh, sound real no, good no. for some reason. Yeah, your dad's uh, gonna be late. Wait. He sent us to tell you everything is okay. <laughs> everything okay is gonna be just fine. They're just holding his magical food. staff. <laughs> yeah, here's a boomstick. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, this is it's it's throwing me for a bit of a loop. I I kind of thought we'd get screwed once uh <laughs> once we were with a. Once we were on the other side of the wall, I kind of figured that, but I didn't we know how. Did. We were get. <laughs> you had three avenues. You have made your choice. Uh, David, what'd you think? Yeah, this is very interesting. I mean, Ingve's part in all this, this episode was, 
utilitarian, but hey, I think it works. <laughs> you know, it's going to be interesting to see. He's leery about being surrounded by these whoppers. I would be too. I think that's reasonable. Mm -hmm. uh, and finally, Rob, what'd you think? Trying to figure out how to count past four. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> too much talking for Dave. Uh, no, uh, that was great. And uh, now I'm concerned like crazy, but Dave has no idea. So the good news is the settlement that you were at is on this side of the mountains. Your, according to the books that Azari had, is on the other side of the mountains. On the other side of the mountains. So, so we just have to get through these. Wait till nightfall. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will love what happens at nightfall. Uh, but we're having fun. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. There, yeah. It is, there it is, folks. That's the important thing. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit about DD, join our Discord. If you want to buy our cool crap, a plethora of different items, go ahead and go there. The link is down there, like uh, <laughs> Rob Shirt. Uh, if you need some cool dice customized, go ahead and contact at Pirate Dog Dice. If you don't want your game to stink, uh, get some adventure sense from Oddfish Games, uh, who also make the Shine writing system. So that being said, tomorrow we have the Margu campaign. Uh, Tuesday we have Between the Rolls. Folks, thanks for joining us. We hope to see you again. Dating game, kiss and wave, boys. Mm -hmm. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.